However, new body cam camera footage of the moments before, during and after the bombing do help us piece together a pretty good idea of the timeline. News Channel 5's Chris Davis walks us through what happens step by step tonight. As long as they don't go to the second Avenue side, it should be okay. The evacuations began just after 6 a.m. But there is something serious happening down the road. Go for 11. About 10 minutes later, we get one last view of 2nd Avenue as it was, as officers Michael Sipos and Brianna Hosey walk towards the parked RV. Sipos is grabbing something from the trunk of his patrol car when the bomb goes off. While most people were evacuated before the blast, the Ganey family was still asleep inside their Airbnb. Things were collapsing, the mirrors on the walls were crashing down, shattering. Um, it, we honestly, our first thought was an earthquake. But as smoke filled the building, Buddy realized that he had to get his wife and two daughters out immediately. Um, when we came out to the street, there was a car across the street engulfed in flames. It was, it was like a war zone. It was something out of a movie. Officer Sipos' camera captures the family scrambling down 2nd Avenue towards their car. Buddy has his wife, Michelle, over his shoulder. Are you guys okay? Okay. Where's your car? Are you doing? Okay, go to your car. What are some of your thoughts uh, a couple days later, you know, about what you witnessed? Uh, just, you know, extremely terrifying situation. That way. Buddy is confident they survived because of the bravery of Metro Police and the blessings of a room without windows. He admits when they checked in, he wasn't happy. In hindsight, this was God's protection on us because uh, if we had been on the street side where the war windows, the glass, the debris, we could have seriously been injured or killed. The family was in town to visit his daughter, Cayman, who now calls Nashville home. She says she hasn't lived here long, but already knows firsthand about the heroes that walk among us. I'm just feeling, feeling, sorry, just really like overwhelmed with like love and support right now. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.